What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today I want to transform my Sony FX30 into a big cinema rig. And the reason I'm doing this is because I shoot a lot of commercials where I have a ton of crew with me and this camera needs some rigging. And therefore I have a ton of stuff here on my table and all of this is gonna go on the camera. I'm really curious how it's gonna go. It's my first time trying to rig this camera at this level. I'm not gonna use the same gear from the same brand like for example I'm gonna use some stuff from Tilta, some stuff from Small Rig and so on. Now there is one thing that I'm extremely excited about and there is one thing that I'm gonna put on this camera that is gonna change one of its features into something really good. There is one thing that I really hate about this camera and you're gonna find out in just a few minutes. Now before we go I want you to go and hit that subscribe button because I put a lot of time and effort into this channel. I do a lot of cinematography breakdowns, I do a lot of reviews and all this takes time. And the biggest reward that I have is seeing that subscribe number is going up and I would be very happy if you can do that. Now moving on to the video, I'm gonna start off by placing my camera cage on the Sony FX30. This is a cage from Tilta. This has been mounted on my Sony FX3. That's why it's a little bit dusty, but it's its first time on the Sony FX30. Now, what's really cool about this cage that it comes with this accessory that you can basically tighten up the screws on the cage. All right, so now that we mounted this on, we have the possibility to mount a top accessory as well for the top handle and this goes right here on the top of the camera and it will look like this but we're not gonna use this because I have in mind something else so I'm gonna ditch this and put it aside and what I'm gonna do next is place my camera on this small rig accessory normally when you buy the full cage of the FX3 you get something like this from Tilta where you can put your rails but I didn't get that, so this doesn't fit on this cage. So I'm gonna have to use this small rig one, which I'm gonna mount right now. All right, so now that we have this mounted on, it looks like this. I mean, I am a little bit sad that it's not in the same color as the cage, but the most important thing is that it's gonna work. Now, I wanna get to something that like I told you, I'm super excited about and I'm gonna talk about it right now. So when you buy the FX30, you have the possibility to buy it with this top handle. Now this top handle, besides having really good audio inputs, it's a little bit crappy. Like the build quality is not that good and you don't really have that much mounting points on it. So it's quite hard to put different kind of accessories on it until now. I found some really cool accessories from Small Rig that turns this top handle from very bad to very good. Let me show you. So first thing is this one. So it's a top blade that goes right here. Sorry, like that. You tighten it with an Allen key. Now the next part goes on top like this. And you tighten it with an Allen key as well. And the last part goes here in the bottom. And as you can see, now the top handle got a little bit longer and we have a lot of different mounting points on it, which is really great because I really wanted to use a microphone and also some wireless audio with this and I couldn't mount it anywhere and then if I mounted my monitor on it I didn't have any place left to mount anything else and now I have a ton of plates here on top for the mic so I have a cold shoe here I also have different kind of mounting points I have a ton of mounting points here and I have another cold shoe here at the bottom and also the grip is so much better so I'm gonna mount this on it right now so as you can see the rig looks like this right now I think it's a nice balance because this is black and the 
bottom part is black as well so it looks kind of cool now i don't mind as much that the cage is not the same color as anything else i'm gonna mount the microphone so i have this sony shotgun microphone which is pretty cool now i want to put the lens on and usually when you go at big productions you need to use pl mount lenses and therefore i found this adapter that transforms my e-mount to PL and it's really great because it also has variable ND inside. I'm gonna show right now. So you see here at the bottom, you have a knob here and this knob, you press it and you take out your filter and then you insert the ND filter inside. And now you have ND that has a lot of stops Right, so now that we have this mounted on the camera, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put some rails on so we can have more support for our lens. So I'm gonna use this small rig carbon fiber rails, which are super light and super durable. I like this quite a lot. And they are a little bit longer, so it's easier for me to um, mount or adapt to any lens here. Next, I'm gonna mount my lens support. So whenever you use big lenses like the one that I'm gonna use right now, which is the picture zoom, you definitely need a lens support because otherwise you're gonna put a lot of tension on your mount. All right, so now as you can see, our camera looks like this. It starts to look better and better. Now what I want next is obviously, I like to use wireless audio as well. So I'm gonna put my wireless audio here on top. And because I have now a cold shoe, I'm able to mount this without any issues. All right, so now what I think we need is a monitor. And so I'm gonna use my monitor, which is a Holland Tech that has also wireless output. So you can basically, if you see here on top, it has two antennas, which means that I can use this monitor to transmit signal to my tablet or different monitors like this. So I have two monitors like this and one I give it to the director and I keep one for myself to monitor my footage and also transmit signal to different kind of devices. To mount this, I'm gonna use my small rig tool, which uh, I really like. This one is for monitors or for different kind of adapters, but I really love this one because it keeps my monitor super tight. I'm gonna put it here at the bottom. To connect my camera to the monitor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the super thin cables, which I really like. I'm gonna put a link in the description because I don't remember their name, but these guys make one of the best cables in the world. All right, so next we need to add a handle and I have two options here. I really like having a handle that I can press record on. So I have this small rig handle, which is really cool. It works really good for my right arm. I don't really like handles on the left arm. All right, so now as you can see, I have a handle as well. I only need a focus motor, but until that, I wanna show you the new handle that I have, which is, I think it's really cool. It's from Tilta, looks like this. Um, let's unbox it really quick. And it's super beefy, but stays really cool in the hand. So as you can see, looks like this. It has internal batteries. If you guys are used to Tilta handles, uh, they usually don't have internal batteries. So you can basically, you need to put your own battery, but this one has, and it's really cool, but it's not for the right arm. It's for the left arm. So you hold it like this and you press record here. So for me, this is not okay. I mean, I cannot use this because I'm right-handed and I like to use my camera with the right arm. But as you can see, it's quite nice. I wanted to show you. So now I have the follow focus as well. And as you can see, works really nice. So let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty cool. We can obviously add a mate box in front just to make it a little bit more dramatic. But from my point of view, I think it's a really nice rig and it's quite balanced. It's not front heavy or back heavy because I have the monitor here on the back. I'm gonna link everything down below. Like I said, um, hopefully this is gonna be helpful. Uh, if it is, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious what's your rig look like. So if you guys have any pictures with your rig, just send it to me on Instagram. I would be very happy to check it out and comment and talk about gear. 
But until next time, I'm Alexandre Don, and thanks a lot for watching. Peace.